doing a... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. My wife gave me the cue that it was not right, but we are right. Uh, this is the bonus video. So, uh, it's Sunday. It's a, uh, you know what? It's a uh, holiday weekend. So, I figured, what the hell? Let's do two videos on Sunday. So, I'm drinking my next beer, right? My next beer is the 35K, which is the Against the Grain. Uh, I love this brewery only because they kind of go what they say, like against the grain. So, first time having this, I don't know what to expect. I hear it's an oatmeal stout, we'll see. Um, just let you guys know, I got my stout glass out. So, again, Spangladu, um, they do the IPA glass, they do the wheat glass, they also do a stout glass. Do I think that these, uh, these glasses actually work and they're actually something that actually make a beer better? Me? I do. So, here you go. Stout glass, 35K, this is a stout. Pour it out, beautiful color, beautiful head. And just so you guys know, we are listening to some uh, two-door cinema club. If you guys kind of like this kind of music, check them out. They're out of Ireland. Awesome. So let's see what we got going on here. We got a beautiful head there, beautiful color. I'm trying to do some manly things. Like the last video I did was kind of, you know, with the, hey, let's do this girly thing. No, we're doing some manly things now. So I'm going to cook out in the grill here. Let me take you with us. Let me grab my, my beer real quick. <laughs> But just so you guys know, this is how you start a charcoal fire, right? You get the, uh, the charcoal chimney, which is this thing. Right? Put a little uh, um, paper underneath it. I like to put a little vegetable oil and just kind of give it a little, uh, little starter. Boom. Get the charcoal going. Yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. You know what I got cooking? I'm kind of a, a culinary expert, okay? Not really, but I like to call myself that. And that is... We're doing a pork loin that I marinated for 24 hours. With what? What did you marinate it in? Uh, I, I marinated it in my own barbecue sauce. You want to see it? With beer? And beer, yeah, involved beer. You want you want some some beer uh, marinated pork? Let's do this thing. Oh my goodness! Follow me through the whimsical world of Papa Hot. Come through here. Let me show you how to marinate a pork loin. The secret sauce, Matt Limbrick says. <laughs> the secret sauce, yes sir. Right, here we go. This is 24 hours marinated. Look at that thing. Ooh, that's yummy. Yes. It's going to be beautiful. Look, you get your hands in there. No, Let me you wash need my to hands. wash your hands first. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. A little antibacterial. This thing's been sitting here for 24 hours. Oh, it smells really beautiful. good. Oh. I can smell it. It smells delicious. We here at Papa Hop right now. 6.47. I'm kind of hungry. But look at this thing. Oh, I trimmed the fat off this thing. I butchered it. And yes, I marinated it. Look at this. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Wash your hands again. Don't lick that, please. No. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, don't, Sorry, don't touch anything either. So yes, this is what we're having for this, uh, the, the din din tonight at Bob Hop. Um, not sure what you guys are grilling. You guys should be grilling something though. It's kind of, you know, Labor Day coming up. So, I guess through a lot of paper towels here at Bob Hop Compound because I'm yeah. kind of a hands clean freak. So, so yeah, let's get back outside for a second, huh? Did you bring your beer in here? Hope everybody's enjoying this I did. Okay, back outside we go. Our kids are next door playing with the neighbor. Yes. So again, guys, we got this 35K, which is from Against the Grain. Again, can. Got this really cool artwork again. Against the Grain. Let's give it a try, shall we? Nice roasty nose to it. Mm. Again, knock it out of the park. It's got, it's got that oatmeal background with it. Um, you know, really nice and malty. 
roasty, got that uh, doesn't have that green pepper flavor that you can get with a with a stout. You know, especially with like coffee stouts and that sort of thing. The coffee uh, coffee beans will let off uh, a green pepper vegetal flavor from the uh, oxid oxidization of the coffee. Um, same thing with the roasted grain. Same thing can happen. You know, uh, none of that going on there. Really tasty stuff. So Dean um, says, are you going to let the meat warm to room temperature before grilling? You know what? You're a man. You know what you're talking about when you're grilling. You're a grill master. Yes, I will. That's why I took it out of the fridge. We got the uh, charcoal still burning. It's the only way I do things. Charcoal. No gas. That's too easy. Let's do everything the hard way. The way the caveman did. You know, that's, that's where we come from, right? That's the way I do things. So, any other questions? Anything else about grilling? I, 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 I'm not a grill master by any means, but I do... Uh, you know, offset my charcoal, put the uh, the meat on the other side, that sort of thing. Not sure uh, if anybody else does that out there. Also, the beer. If anybody has any questions about the beer, and please like, share. Also, check out my YouTube. I am uh, really focusing on that, so do that. Um, and again, we got Two Door Cinema Club playing right now, which is one of my favorite bands. So check them out. Uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? That's really it. I don't it. know. So, happy Labor Day? Happy Labor Day, yeah. I'm kind of excited. I love these days. These, these uh, holidays that are, you know, so. Hope everybody's having a good time. Enjoy yourselves. And remember, check out Against the Grain from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Check out uh, my boys Two Door Cinema Club. They're out of Ireland. And, uh, you know, get to grilling. Get to grilling, yeah. And experiment a little bit. It's kind of cool. Do a little uh, marinade. Do a little, like, dry rub. So, Philip Thomas, I guess, just joined. So, he wants to know what beer you're drinking. What beer am I drinking? Right now, I'm drinking the 35K, which is a uh, oatmeal stout from Against the Grain Brewing out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, he liked your vest. You like my vest? Yeah, I like my vest, too. It's he said that. he had the Against the Grain double IPA. Very cool, dude. Um, you want to check out the back of my vest? This is a little Jim Phillips for you, a little artwork. Put a little screaming in hand. Ooh. Very cool. So if you don't know Jim Phillips, check out his artwork. It's really cool. Uh, let me pour the rest of this beer into my stout glass. Again, guys, I own a stout glass, which is this one. Uh, I own an IPA glass, I own a wheat beer glass, even though I hate wheat beer. Um, do I, I think, think we own every glass Yeah, I've, for beer. I've got very many glasses, so. Um, do I think the shape of the glass actually accentuates the beer style? I do. I was kind of skeptical at first, but I mean this glass, what it does is it collects kind of the hop aroma. Think about wine, you know, with a decantor. Um, pour the wine in it, let it breathe. Boom. Totally uh, changes the flavor of the wine. Philip Same Thomas thing. says um, Rob Roscop, skateboard artist. Santa Cruz, my brother. Santa Cruz. Yes, sir. Um, which I think Rob later went on to uh, Alien Workshop, but I'm not quite sure. So. He's, uh, Rob uh, Whirl, I think I'm saying that wrong, but I don't know, Has says, have you ever had the new Glarus beers? New Glarus. New yes, Glarus, sorry. yes. A little Wisconsin love there. Uh, with a thumbprint series, uh, which is some of the best. Very hard to get in Virginia. I have had one, um, and it was ridiculously awesome. Yes, I have. Any other questions we have from the audience right now? Uh, Philip Thomas says he is drinking the Photosphere Phil, my namesake. Photosphere Phil. I'm not, I'm not quite familiar with that one. Very sorry. No. Nope. All right. Well, cool. enjoy. Yeah, enjoy yourself, man. It's all about craft beer deliciousness. A little road glass going on there. I don't know how you guys feel about road. I know there's some kind of like people like, nah, road. I don't think road sucks. I mean, the dude. Clown shoes IPA. Clown shoes, awesome. Yeah, like clown shoes. Um, they make some awesome IPAs. Uh, I've had a few in the shop. Really, really cool. 
uh, IPLs, that sort of thing. Uh, but going back to the glassware, yeah, that uh, that shape really accentuates the stout. And I've kind of I've, I've, I've done a side by side, so I did like a shaker glass, which is just a kind of a you know kind of a regular glass that you get in any bar, and then these, and really kind of did some uh, some research on. So to me, they actually do the justice. They actually do the job. Uh, if you guys can, they're a little pricey. I mean, I think they're about fifteen dollars a glass. You know, if you really are a craft beer connoisseur, really invest in that. Especially Spangled Dude glasses. Again, they have an IPA glass, uh, the stout glass. Then they have the uh, the wheat beer glass. And if you guys want to see it, which I'm going to have to get a yes if you actually do, um, I can show you the, the different shapes. So. All right, I think really, we're really good. Nice. Huh? Did we get a yes yet? Let me get a yes, guys. I need a yes. I'll send you a shirt. How many viewers we got? Five. Hey, Five baby. viewers. So we'll walk to the uh, the glass. He says yes. Okay, come on, buddy. You lost your friend. Come inside with me, buddy. You want to go put some dry clothes on? Who's your friend? So again guys, we have the stout glass, which is this one. We have the IPA glass, which is that one. A little bit different, we got these ridges here. And again, uh, this is the, my first one. I was really kind of skeptical at it, but actually it really works. So the idea is the hop aroma comes up through, boom. So there's that one, and then the wheat glass, which is again Spangladu. And that's them. So you got a fat bottom here, which the fat bottom uh, girls make the rock and roll go around, right? So, um, you know, kind of collects it. Bowl aroma. That's kind of how that works. But yeah, that's the, uh, the three styles so far. From Spangodu, if I am pronouncing that correct. I don't know, it's a German company and they're awesome. This one here, funny story. Um, I was sitting outside of our old house one night and my wife asked me for a lighter. I threw it to her and she threw it back and it landed directly into this because it's so thin. Shattered it. So, very uh, fragile or fragile if you're. Uh, fan of the uh, Christmas store movie. But anyway, yeah, so that's that. And uh, do we have Jeff Trigger on here? No. Huh? All right, where are we going? We'll go back out here. Let's go back out to the festivities. <laughs> but yeah, guys, enjoy your, uh, your Labor Day weekend. I'm sorry I'm a little preoccupied. I got my two boys with me uh, and my wife. I uh, hope everybody has a good one. Enjoy. Again, last time. Any questions from the audience? Or any, like, anything you want me to, you know, I'll do a dance if you guys want me to dance. Ooh. Anything you guys want to see? Good? How many viewers? I think we're good. We have eight. Eight, eight viewers? Hey, all you enjoy your weekend, share this video for me, will you? And also, um, when I put this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Just look up Josh May. I'm not very good with uh, technology and that sort of thing. So please, look up Josh May uh, Craft Beer Reviews or Josh May Beer Review. Your Thank mom you. said dance and Philip Thomas said keep that beard. If my mom tells me to do something, I do it. Cheers, boys and girls.